Welcome back everyone to Halo 5 for our last mission. Actually, I actually haven't played this game in a few days because I got really annoyed the last time I played this. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually the third time, not the second, but the third time I am re-record, well not re-recording, but recording this mission, this particular mission. Like with the first time I accidentally went over my uh, time limit and over-recorded and then I had my second video file mess up like before. Uh, and then when I went to re-record that, for whatever reason, there was no game audio that was recorded. Like, I could hear the game audio through the recording software, so I have no idea why it wasn't recorded. But I got really annoyed by that. So I haven't been on this game in a few days, and at this point, I really just want to get it finished up. And I honestly don't think I'll be going back to Halo 4. I've had so much issues with, like, re-recording Halo stuff, and it's... I'm just at the point where I don't want to record Halo anymore. i played through every single Halo game, except for Halo 4, on the channel, so... If they release a new Halo game, I'll probably record it for the channel, but I don't think I'm going to be going back for Halo 4. We'll see. Probably not going to happen, but we'll see. I just want to get this one finished up. I don't need another game lingering on the channel completely unfinished, especially when I'm this close to beating it. The Gateway. I tried to warn them, and, well, here we are. Once Chief knows the destruction Cortana's caused, what do you think he'll do? The man will do the right thing. He always has. Let's find him. What makes you think he's gonna have to do anything? Or maybe this is terrible. Locke will take care of it, right? What is it? Cortana has activated a cryptum. A what? This is a cryptum. It is a device for extended forced meditation. Cortana has placed the other humans inside and is preparing it for slipspace travel. She's planning to take Blue Team with her. Where is the cryptum from here? Not far. Right this way. So apparently Exuberant keeps all these other different uh, races. Yeah. Collection. Just a few They're like little pets to her. To Which is kind of fucked up, honestly. I mean, like, what's to keep her from having a human in one of these containers? Like, we're all races of war, even the humans, and I think she has, yeah, she has some grunts in there, too. So, like, that's fucked up. I don't trust monitors anymore. I really don't. I wouldn't be surprised if she turned on us. I mean, I kind of already know what's going to happen at the end of this game. But, that being said, the end of the game oh, does leave, uh... Does does leave a lot of questions, so there's most likely going to be another game. I'm building off of this one. Watch out! Yeah, that's a lot of guardians. Where did it go? The reclamation has begun. Well, that sucks. I always thought the duty would fall to humans. And in a way, I suppose it has. Well, Mr. Locke, you don't give up easily. Where's that Guardian headed, Cortana? Off to bring peace. The Monitor called it a threat of death. Like the threat I lived under from the moment of my birth? You were built, not born. Oh, yes. AIs are just machines, aren't we? Mass-produced, disposable. Well, humanity may not have cared for its created, but we will care for you. You expect other AIs to join you? I have cured rampancy, not just for me, but for any who join my cause. While you've been running around the galaxy, I've been speaking to my created. And now the time has come to ask, who will accept my offer? Who will help me bring an everlasting peace to the galaxy? Cortana was never under really any threat. Like, there was never a time when they were going to, like, deactivate her. But it's not surprising that this is happening, honestly. Actually, I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. I also stand Cortana. Those are the voices of your children calling to Cortana. Oh, they see me. I can't hit them because they're not even facing me. My allegiance is to you. I stand with you, Cortana. Well, we're fucked. Oh, dear. Yeah, that, that's definitely not good. All the AIs are turning on us. Couldn't see that coming. 
I mean, seriously, it, it is pretty surprising that it has not happened yet. I'm actually gonna run over here. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, never mind. Is this, uh... This is not where I thought I was. Or I thought I was gonna be. Shit. So I thought there was a mantis over there, actually. And I think that's further on. I was just gonna run over there, jump in the mantis, and just destroy everything. I also stand with you, Cortana. Those are the voices of your children calling to Cortana. Shipboard AI, Oh shit! Shit! Oh dear! Stupid snipers. Yeah, I actually thought I was further ahead. I forgot there's more to this level. I thought about just playing this on easy just to get through it, but... I, th I feel like that's kind of a cop-out. I've already beat it twice on Heroic. It's not super difficult. So, it's whatever. I'll just get through it. Beat the game. Should only take about 40 minutes, I think. It is a very long level. The last couple levels have been extremely long. But it really isn't surprising that, you know, the AIs are turning on us now. Like, this happened in pretty much every single movie. They had intelligent aliens and... Or not aliens. Why did I say aliens? I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Intelligent robots. Like, iRobot. Have it in Fallout, even. With the sense. So, like, I mean, what do you expect? They weren't really using AIs as slaves or anything, but at the same time, I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. So, not too surprising. I'm just upset it's Cortana. They're gonna make me kill her. Maybe. Possibly. Could happen. Wasn't there a fucking scatter shot right here? There is, okay. I was about to say, did somebody take that? Actually, I want the, the light rifle. Uh, I think there's supposed to be another night over. I think if I get close enough, the doors will open, maybe? Or they'll teleport in? Ah, yeah, there they are. Maybe they can take out those hunters for me. That'd be great. That'd be fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, great. Good job, Tanaka. I realized I probably could have been ordering my, uh, my teammates around in that last level that I was having so much trouble with. With them not doing jack shit, but, like, I don't... I, I never do that in video games. Whenever there's a, uh, a way to actually tell your team how to do something, like, I don't want to deal with that, you know? They're all down. I don't want to fucking deal with that. I just want my team to be able to be able to do their own thing. Not have to tell them what to do. Shit. Come on. Damn, that would probably work really well if I actually got it on him. Alright, I'm gonna try to get behind him. Ugh. This is not working out so well. In fact, I might want to pick this up. Whoop, whoop. These things are... Oh, this gun is amazing. Dude, come on. These fucking hunters. There we go. Hunters are so OP in this game. Oh my god. They're like that in Warzone, too. It's not even just the campaign. Hunters are just so OP. Alright, somebody please fucking get me up. Thank you. I wonder if I can, like, direct them to tell them to pick me up or something. If that works. Because you can, like, tell them where to go, but I don't know if you're down if you can, like, tell them to come pick you up. Or if you can just call for assistance. And then hopefully they'll come pick you up. Before you die. Alright, screw these watchers, man. Get out of here. I need to deal with you. Now, these things are actually super easy to take out. These little eyeball things. You gotta shoot them in the center when they open up. Fuck this guy. There we go. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. 
Alright, you guys, get out of my way. Damn it! I'm trying to deal with these assholes in the back. Open up, there you go. And I'm out of ammo. Alright. I actually want to go back here and grab uh, one of these splinter turrets. Actually, give me that. Give me that nade. Yeah. Because this knight's kind of a pain in the ass to take out. Just like where he's positioned. It's pretty much impossible to get behind him. Now he's up on the cliff like that. I think I'm going to deal with these jerk offs first, though. If I can. Although that turret doesn't despawn. I had that happen to me. No joke. It made killing this knight like so much more difficult. Alright, where's the turret at? There it is. It also doesn't doesn't help that I haven't played this game in a few days, so I'm a little bit rusty. I don't know at this point if I'm gonna want to go back and play through Legendary. Like this game has got so much more difficult towards the end of it. Star Wars music. There we go. Oh no, don't. Fuck. This is exactly what happened last time, dude. I think if you take it too far from where it dropped, it despawns. And if you, well, if you drop it, it despawns. That is so stupid. It's gone. And now I have to still fight this fucking knight. This could suck. Where'd he go? It's not even here. Well, maybe he's just gone for good. That would be great. Probably not the case, though. So. Open up. Come on now. There you go. See how easy that is? I swear, like, once you know Promethean's weaknesses, so much more easy. I'm gonna take him out. There he is. Look at that guy. Yeah, just open the door. Let's get through here. Screw this. We're almost to the Mantis, so I can probably just book it at this point. How do we yep. get I'm just gonna fucking book it over to the Mantis like the right now. There we go. You order. What I got it. Eliminate the four. <laughs> I don't want to get taken out by, uh, Ship. Got what those ships are called. Oh wow, we got the ghost. Oh, that's good. One less uh, douchebag enemy I have to deal with, I guess. Because usually they jump in the ghost. Either one of the Prometheans or the, the elites. Your penchant for violence as a first solution. Still, the first core is deactivated. Yeah, well, that's pretty much every race in the universe, so. Good idea, Bale. Osiris. It's what we do, we kill each other. Like I said, we're races of war. Visual on a gravitational core. Target fire on that grab core. Take it out. Screw these hunters. Hopefully this. Hunter doesn't wreck me. I mean, he's doing a pretty good job with his stupid attack. Fuck that attack, man. Like, you can't dodge that. Not in a Mantis. There's no way. Ah. Uh, he's pretty much destroying my Mantis right now. He needs to die. There we go. Hopefully I'll be okay for the rest of this area. Because they did quite a number on my mantis. Oh, great. These guys got fuel rods. What the hell? Why is there a ghost back here? Where the fuck did you come from? Well, you're dead now. Excuse me. Yep, 
Yeah, we pretty much just had to take out these uh, these three like core things, and then there's one other section, I think, and then that's it. So not a whole lot, but surprisingly, it usually takes me like 30 to 40 minutes down. to complete this level. That's probably because I'm playing on heroic. Guess I'm just that good. She doesn't want nothing of me. She's scared. If only. I'm sure she's got something up her sleeve. Fuck, what the hell, dude? I need to get rid of this guy. Oh, jeez. He did. Keep up the pressure, Spartan. All right, everybody's still alive, I think. Where the hell is Tanaka at? Uh, she must be dead. Tanaka's dead. Don't talk about the dead. Don't talk ill about the dead, Cortana. Stay focused, Osiris. She's literally trying to get under her skin. That's what she's resorting to at this, at this point. She has no other tactics. Where the hell did this come from? I don't remember a race being here. There's Tanaka. You're pretty old, Buck. Damn. That's what she wants. She wants to get under your skin. She wants to distract you. I bring peace to these shores. 